Hey, hey, Roger! Wakey, wakey! Come on, Cinderella. Don't tell me you need a kiss from a prince. I'll have to smack you awake. Oh, what time is it? June 2018. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Ah, I guess I kind of lost interest in talking about Sonic. <laughs> well, time to wake up. We got some Sonic news. Team Sonic Racing confirmed. The brand new Sonic Racer. All right, random update video, I guess. Ooh, nice. Team Sonic Racing. I'm a big fan of the previous Sonic Kart Race games, and Sumo is always good news. I love their Outrun game as well. So, technically looking forward to this. And hey, look, it has Planet Wisp as a showcase track and not Green Hill Zone or Seaside Hill or even Windy Hill. Wow, that's a shock. I approve. Good to see Eggman still turned Planet Wisp into a theme park after Sonic Colors. So, Sega has now entirely dropped from the series, focusing only on Sonic. I'm kind of disappointed, but as many people pointed out, it's about time the lesser Sonic characters get their moment in the sun. And they sure will, with Team Sonic Racing's whooping... Uh, 15 characters. Oh. Considering they're all teams of free, we got Team Generic and Team Dark already confirmed, then presumably Team Rose, although God knows who Amy's teammates are. The Sonic Heroes team up, the Sonic Free Riders team up, Characters that don't belong anywhere, like Blaze or Silver or the Avatar. It's more team leftover, really. Then there's probably a Team Eggman. Metal Sonic was accidentally revealed by Yuzuka in an interview, no surprise there. I would assume Sega wants to tie in with the other recent games, since usually all spin-off games are filled to the brim, with imagery and references to the latest flagship game. Look at all the Lost World stuff we had in all the previous spin-off games. So I would assume either Infinite or a Hard Boiled Heavy would make it in. And then we have room for one more surprise team. Team Chaotix, Team Babylon, Team Retro. Either way, no matter who the characters are, there will be a ton left out. Not even talking about having a chance for Sticks to Badger or T-Call or any other surprise character to show up. Seems we're only getting the bare minimum obvious ones. And normally I wouldn't mind too much, but is this what we sacrificed all the other Sega characters for? Fuck Skies of Arcadia, fuck Jet Set Radio, fuck Knights. We focus only on Sonic. And then there's still a sad amount of them. Hmm. But hey, it might be that the 15 characters are only the story, and that arcade and two-player mode will have more additional characters. Or we might get a ton of DLC, who knows. It's too early to complain. But I'm not impressed so far. Looks like the Wisps are back, ready to be shot out as projectiles. Seems the Wisp abuse will continue. Let's hurt the interstellar bastards. <laughs> Well, Sumo never disappointed me so far. Their racing games have always been fantastic. I'm a bit worried about the team gameplay though. Apparently you need to take care of your teammates during the race as well. Great, so it's like an escort mission during your race all the time. Just what I want an intense heart pounding race. To be babysitting brain dead computer characters. I hope it's not only multiplayer though. They put a weird emphasis on that. They do mention a story mode though. So it seems a single player should be there. And yes, a story mode. This will be great. Stories in racing games are always stupid, and I love myself some stupid stories. Let's hope it's a crazy fun kind of stupid, like Sonic Riders Zero Gravity, and not a painful, miserable, stupid one, like Sonic Free Riders. I always love story modes in racing. They're always wacky. So that'll be prime parody material. Heck, I already made one. So that'll be great. Uh, one thing I noticed. Okay, so far I had never had much of an issue with Roger Greg Smith's Sonic's voice. He isn't my favorite, but I find him serviceable and even good in some games, like LEGO Dimensions and even Forces. But this time... I'm back in the race. I just hate his dialogue in this game. I don't know what it is, but to hear his voice annoys the heck out of me. It's not the writing, it's his acting. I don't know what it is. I can't put my finger on it. See, I'm already worried about this whole team corporation aspect and having to babysit the other teammates, so Sonic demanding things from you in that whiny voice. And on top of that, these sumo racing games are very intense and very difficult, so I'll be super focused on winning the race, and there's something about Sonic's I'm about to tell you a shitty joke tone of voice that immediately knocks the excitement and intensity of the racing out of me. I hope it'll grow on me, but at this moment I severely hope there's a Japanese voice option or I'll play it on mute. Eh. Back to the story. One particular detail I'll be keeping an eye on, being a pet peeve of mine. I have a sense that Sega's removing any kind of geographical context to the locations of Sonic games. Considering how careless Mania forces make their older zones appear in locations there shouldn't be. And how many recent games go with that, all levels are soulless, meaningless aesthetics floating in limbo design. 
I wonder if the story will bother respecting the levels as actual locations in Sonic's genuine world, or if they don't give a fuck and the whole game is just, uh, let's leave Royal Ocean. Ah, now we're on Planet Wisp. Eggman went past that hill. It seems Sky Babylon is on that hill. Ah, it led to Frozen Factory. Let's enter this building. Oh, now we're on Wacky Workbench. You know, like, fuck whatever those locations were on different planets or different dimensions or whatever that context was. Now they've all been green hillified and are just meaningless aesthetics showing up wherever. Member level from game? Everything's just flat locations in Sonic's world or yet again floating aesthetics in limbo. Jumping the gun a bit early, Roger. Already attacking the story before anything is shown. Of course. So, as for the racetracks. Anyone want to play Sonic Generations Bingo? We got Planet Wisp already. Green Hill Zone and Chemical Plant Zone will be there, because they've been in every goddamn game the past decade. If this game will have a retro cup again, like what most Mario Kart games do these days, and Transformed also had, well, I doubt they'll use tracks from Sonic Drift Racing, Sonic R, Sonic Riders, because spin-offs aren't canon and aren't allowed to exist or something. There's some unspoken rule that they're not allowed any spotlight. Not to mention it'll take some effort to make these tracks work for the current racing game engine. So, if there's a retro cup, they gotta use the Sonic only tracks and only without a plane and boat section for Transformed. Luckily there's only one boat section in the third lap of the Seaside Hill track and the second lap of Sky Sanctuary track is also car only. So BAM! That will be the two Sonic Transformed representatives and BAM! That's another two Sonic Generation levels down. Booyah! I wonder, will we get a full Generations reunion? Well, problem is, the four leftover tracks are the more realistic looking levels, and they're all city levels. Now, city levels are always the most popular, that's why most of Generations and Mania were city levels. But Sumo tends to uphold variety in the track selection, so I doubt they'll put so many city tracks in. And if Mania F Forces will get a track representative, probably with priority because Sega wants to, you know, advertise them a lot. I believe Studiopolis and Metropolis are the most popular choices, so they'll get dips on the city track. So, I don't know, I don't think Speed Highway, City Escape, Rooftop Chase, and especially Crisis City will make it in. In fact, anything Sonic 06 and Shadow related will likely be off limits. So alas, not a full Generations reunion, I predict, but a close one probably anyway. Again, something tells me all the spin-offs and handhelds aren't allowed to exist, although Sumo does sometimes take a big chance, like with the uh, Burning Rangers track and Transform, so they might take a little exception for the music plans level from Advance 2. That seems like the type of crazy weird visual they're going for with the new game. Will there be a unique track that's not really based on any of the previous games? Uh, I think the last track might be. That's usually the case with all these uh, meta reference the old games kind of kind of stuff. Even Transformed had its final stage be relatively unique. But hey, that's just me speculating, so never mind. Actually, just for fun, I'll predict some more. Hang Castle has the designated spooky level. Frozen Factory has the designated snow level. Something tells me about the more cartoony and abstract style they're going for, that the more realistic looking Sonic games will be largely overlooked, and that it'll be the classics, heroes, and the post color games that will getting the most tracks. But again, that's just speculation, we don't have any facts. There is an interview with Izuka about Team Sonic Racing, but he dodges all the questions he got, and usually just starts talking red NPR instead, like a pro. <laughs> uh, I hate it when people do that. Uh, so look, your thoughts on the track selection. I just wanted to quickly plug a spin-off series I'm involved with Melting Man 234 called Give Me Chaos Theories. Named after the infamous Sonic Live in Sydney song, where me and Melting Man theorise and discuss various Sonic related stuff, like the comics and the recent games. So check it out if you got the chance. Uh, right you are, Luke. In other Sonic news, Sonic the Movie is on the way, and we've got the first casting news. James Marston signed on, and rumours whisper that Paul Rudd might be cast as everyone's favourite Sonic character. Random cop guy! That's right, forget about Mighty and Ray's return, what we should truly be rejoicing is that random cop number 3 from the Sonic Adventure opening cutscene finally returns. Also, if they can't get Mike Pollock to be the live action version of Eggman, I nominate either Alfred Molina or Ben Kingsley. Or maybe Gerard Depardieu for a French Eggman. And the movie's written the same quality as modern Sonic. I nominate Adam Sandler to play Eggman and Gottfried Gilbert as everyone else. <clears throat> but anyway, 
Yeah. Look, we knew Sonic would be teaming up with a human. It's a freaking Hollywood movie. They always need to add a normie to the cast as audience surrogate man. And as soon as they said the movie is in live action, the trailer immediately playing in my brain was... Meet Bob Bobson. His car broke down. He missed his son's baseball game. He's about to propose to his girlfriend, but those wacky co-workers get in the way. Evil corporate men will break down the orphanage to build them all. Will Bob Bobson fix his car? Will he remember to go to his son's baseball game? Will he propose? Will he save the orphanage? Will he do his tax papers? Will he clean his room? Will he be at his office finding papers? Will he do the dishes? Also, Sonic the Hedgehog. Sonic the Hedgehog! The movie! Kind of glad it's a cop, at least. That'll make the human tag along connected to the plot and the action, so there's that. We'll just have to wait what kind of cop it is. Might still be a boring office drone who missed his son's baseball game guy, for all we know. But I'm hoping for someone a little more intense, a little crazier, like Mel Gibson's Mad Max, or Mel Gibson's Martin Riggs, but then even more insane, like regular Mel Gibson. Someone worthy of following up the gun commander. We'll see. Either way, make sure not to complain about human characters. After all, the talented Tika Sumter is hired, so complaining about it now will make you look like a racist, misogynistic, sexist. There's a nice get out of criticism free card, kids, so shut up and take it. As for me, I don't really care too much. We'll see what they'll do. Other news, Sonic Mania Plus and Sonic IDW comics. You know what, let's talk about that in a proper dissected soon. This is just a meaningless speculation stuff video. So See you next time, bye-bye.